Everglades stories. There are so many things that happen when you're out in the Everglades. Uh, this fishing trip I'm gonna tell you about, it's a story you're not gonna believe, first of all, because if you were to tell me this story, I would say that's impossible. I have video proof to show you, so that's what we're gonna do today. We're fishing, we get up at three in the morning, we go down to Everglades City, we run 32, 34 miles to the back country where I've seen these tarpon on, on the bottom of the outgoing tide in the morning. The water temperature has to be perfect. It looks like everything's gonna be just perfect. So me, my business partner at Health Rehab, my great friend Luke Wexler and Sonia Blade, we go out there and it, it, it's looking good. There's some fog on the water in the morning, it's calm. We get to the spot, shut the motor off and Within five minutes, we have tarpon rolling all around us. And these fish are 50 to 200 pounds. They're like, these fish are huge. We start fishing, it's, we're an hour in, and Sonia gets stuck. I'm using my bait caster. I take a cast, and she's like, hey, Elm, I'm stuck, can you move forward? So I get the uh, remote control on the electric motor, I move forward, and I have my rod in my hand, I'm just dragging my jig. I have a quarter ounce jig with a, with a little rubber tail on the end of it. All of a sudden, my rod gets slammed. Next thing I know, I got line flying off my reel. I got about 100 yards of line on this. This is like my bass snook combo. I got about 100 yards of line on this thing, and it is screaming. I mean, my line is screaming going off my rod. And Sonia goes, I'll break my line. So she breaks her line. I turn the boat around. I'm on the front of the boat, and I'm just watching this. I can't do anything. The fish jumps, it's about a 75 pound tarpon, 70 to 80 pounds, 75 pounds about. And all of a sudden I see the last three strings of line on my reel and then to the knot, then the knot explodes and I watch the line fly through every one of these guides at like warp speed. Off the front of the boat, over the trolling motor, gone. But I mean, the line just gone so fast. I was like, oh my God, I can't believe it. That thing just broke me off. It spooled me, it took all my line. And Luke just started videotaping and he said, Elm, what are you gonna do? And I looked at him and I said, I'm gonna get my line back. And that's where the story begins. And took all my line, took all my line. Oh, shit, oh my God, I'll get the line back. He's on it. Holy shit, I so, still have him on. I still have him on. Here, give me a second, give me a second. Give me your line. Give me gloves. No. Tied on, tied on. Here, hold on, hold on. He's still on, he doesn't know it. Where's the, where's the, where's the tie So Amr's rod <laughs> ran out of string, took all of his line out. Give this to me. Somehow, he found the line in the water. <laughs> He's still on it. He's on the and line. the tarpon is still on. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. I, I got the line back. And I'm going to tie it. A freaking, oh, 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 oh. He's taking it. He's taking it. Okay. Hurry up. Okay, trying to double uni. Okay. Okay, Rod. We got a lot of line here. Good job, Phil. Oh my god, it's tied around the motor. Okay, he's on. We got him. I'm still on him. This is unbelievable. Well, we were able to get the line back. Tie it up to another rod. The lucky and rod. And now the fight is back on. And the fight is back on. Wait, let me get these lines out of yeah, the way. Yeah, get those lines. Oh, God, I got it. So this is what happened. Hook a big fish on my bait caster. Tarpon takes it. 80, 90 pound tarpon. Here he goes. Look, look, look. He's going to jump. He takes it. Takes all my line. Breaks me off. We go back to get the line because we feel bad. Oh, there he goes. Look at that jump. Oh, beautiful. Fight the fish, Elmer. Stop talking. He takes it. Come on. Elmer, my, my line. I need to go faster. So is this my we, fish or your fish? Right. We retie it onto Sonia's with a double uni. And we're back in the game. That was unreal. Unbelievable. <laughs> this 
Unbelievable. Right. Here he comes. Yeah. He's coming up right now. Look at this fish. Wow. Here he goes. Oh. Oh my God. How awesome was that? What gardening yesterday? Fight sharpening today. I got three Advil in my pocket. <laughs> You're gonna need three more. Wow. Oh. No matter what life throws at you, no matter the problem, no matter the situation, never give up. Just because they say the game's over and the fans are leaving the stadium, doesn't mean the game's over. You can still win. You just gotta want it really bad and never give up. If there's a 1% chance, 0.1% chance that you can win, don't even think about it. Do what Sonia and I did. Take action, be very present in the moment, and make your dreams come true. This fish was an incredible fish, but it taught me an even more valuable lesson. Awesome. I hope you enjoyed Everglades Fish Stories, Volume 1. Let's go fishing.